everyone welcome back today we are going to see how to create georgia peach acrylic color because of this color creation i am picking three ratio of yellow one ratio of red one ratio of permanent rose and one ratio of white mix well together using art night to creating colors After getting this color, for today's painting, I will bring you an idea to paint a simple, easy, and beautiful seascape with tiny rafts. So I am using 10 by 12 canvas board. Here I wet my soft flat brush size 24, picking some Georgia peach acrylic color. Apply on the top of the canvas board, just from one corner to another corner, using sweeping horizontal brush strokes to blend the colors together, using even pressure to get the sky background. Whenever before start painting, I am always with the Bristol sub brush. This will help you to blend the paint smoothly on the surface of the canvas board. But another tips, if you want to use little bit of moisturizing the canvas with a sufficient of water. Here, I am adding little white with the Georgia peach mix well to the light shade of the sky background. Once complete the background, just leave it couple of minutes to dry because I am going to use masking tape here. Next, to create the seascape, yeah, mix up some Georgia peach and a little bit of black. Mix well together to create the first layer of horizon. What I have shown here, blend it smoothly and gently. Once we finish this next layer, I am not mixed with Georgia peach any colors. Just picking some Georgia peach and directly apply on the canvas. Blend it like this. Once complete the two layer of this, now coming to the third layer, I am adding some white with the previous color to blending, avoiding overlapping the colors too much. The colors should be merged each other, do not leave it layer by layer, just to keep the brush wet with sufficient of water till the background is finished. Here, using masking tape to make a straight line, which divided the sky into the seascape to see beautiful. When I removing masking tape from here, just look here, we can see the dark horizon line from our sea. Now going to creating waves, the first of all, I am using the same flat brush size 24 to create the dark shade, which the bottom shade of the waves. Here using angular brush, just to load the paint with bristle tapes just to create the waves water. This kind of very small zigzagging, wiggling and around pulling it upwards like this. Once complete all these, we are going to give the details of small small rocks around here. Now I am starting the second layer just picking some white, soften like this upwards to create those shade of waves. Color blending and mixing are the very essential and most important techniques in acrylic painting that need to learn. The color mixing we are combining two or more pigments to create entirely and new colors. This one is the main skill that you have to learn and build in art. There is nothing what kind of medium you use. Color theory is the key of color mixing. The primary colors red, blue and yellow are the foundation. When we are combining primary colors of any two in varying proportions can produce secondary colors of green, orange and purple.
here I am giving the details of clouds. I am using the same flat brush. Picking some Georgia peach acrylic, edge of the bristles and make small small even and even strokes like zigzagging. Smooth and up with flat brush size 24. Just keeping the bristles of brush mostly horizontal and the vertical way to create the clouds like this. Once completing the floating clouds, just put a little sunlight on bottom of these clouds, making little and tiny with a corner of brush, just to smoothen up, keep on working and blend it like this. I am going to give the details of rocks, loading some black with the bristles of same flat brush to create background of small rocks around the seashore. I am just painting the background first wherever I want. Once completing the background, I am adding some highlighting on the rocks. See the details of highlighting, mix some Georgia peach with white to create the light shade of rocks to blend it like this. Once complete all these, I am going to put little white to the top of the rocks for sunlight just to blend it. If you feel harder to paint it today, this means put a little practice you feel easier to do tomorrow. So don't feel hard, I am also learning day by day in nature. Just enjoy and create your own artwork. There is never ending, just keep going on fun way in your artwork. Don't feel hard to try your own paintings, just fun and do it. I think detail of these paintings and the color combination inspiring you. If you are the absolute beginner, try this painting. I am welcoming you to paint in my art journey. Stay connected, like, share, subscribe. See you in my next video.